first time. Only Mark's teaching now and there's no phone at one shop. Where are we going? Find the hotel. Don't worry about it. I'll drive. Not after what you did to those dodgems. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I feel decidedly responsible for part of all this. I saw him and I should have told you at the time. You don't know for sure that it was Tim. But from what you've told me... Mm, he ran, sure enough, soon as the questions got tricky, but that's not like him either. Your son is growing up. <laughs> and the side of him showing I didn't know was there. Well, it's been known. Mark says a solid morning of down-to-earth classwork will do wonders. Expect tears and confession in the lunch hour, he says. Why couldn't I work for a nice, normal family? You'd be bored to death. <laughs> Possibly. Tell me, did we once used to have customers? Do you finish up that job? I hadn't I finished it. Did it. If he hadn't. You've seen Palmer? What do you want him for? Have you seen him? No. Hello, Richard. Sir, sir, Mr. Fire, sir. Yes, Tony? Mrs. Edwards says, could you give that to Tim, please, sir? That's the prep clip to it. Only Mrs. Edwards says he'll need it. Oh, why can't you give it to him yourself? How do you mean, sir? He's not in class, then. No, sir. I said he must be sick or something. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, sir. Yes, Richard? Do you want me? Uh, no. No, it's nothing, sir. What I must do is shave. Can I watch? Can I see you shave? What for? I just want to. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of us all? Shut up, <laughs> you. Careful. What were you doing there? In King Street this morning? Later, not the time. Deco. I hate these. As soon as the fellas shave, we'll go out, buy you some clothes. Brilliant. Tim's not in school lunch. Oh, bloody boy. Oh, come through, Mark. No tears and contrition. No Tim. Well, that clinches it. Do you think we ought to call the police? We still don't know. Well, you're the expert. What do we do? I've had a look through his room, and as far as I can see, he's got no change of clothes. His suitcase is still under the bed, and there's a pile of small change on his desk. He could have hung on to some of the money from the shop. Well, his bike's not gone, so he's probably nearer at hand than we think. It's uh, spur-of-the-moment stuff. You shouldn't have chased after him. My guess is he's somewhere around feeling sorry for himself and scared. He'll be back before dark, long before. Oh, why didn't you come round as soon as you knew he'd missed a lesson? And get you worked up, only for Tim to come to his senses by lunchtime. Look, I've uh, got to go. I'm teaching it too. Oh, I don't like any of this. Keep it in proportion. What are you afraid of? What, an accident? He's got a school diary in his pocket with his name and address on it. He's a sensible boy, Elizabeth. You know Tim's moods. They come quickly and go just as fast. Do you think we ought to call Eric? I already have. 
No one at home, some sort of answering machine. Thank you. My pleasure. You're a funny kid. It is my pleasure. Sometimes you talk like you're 30, sometimes you act like you're three. Is it all right? Yes, great. They'll know by now. They'll know you've bunked off morning school. <laughs> They'll think I'm skulking around the place somewhere. If they only knew. You will find Mum soon, then. Promise. You never keep promises, Mum says. Well, she would. I'll phone. I know you will. Were you looking for me? In the white charger. The what? My knight on his white charger. The jag thicky. <laughs> Where are you? You're what I found. That's God in action. Tim, nobody, I don't know, um, would hit you. Nobody was chasing you. When you phone, they could tell you things. True things? Some true. I thought you always drank whiskey. Thought wrong. Would you think it impolite if I went to bed this afternoon? <laughs> if you're tired, sleep. <laughs> what are we doing? Are we running away? You glad you're here? Yes. We'd be. Yes. Let's leave it at that then. Is that all? What shall I do with the tray? Put it outside the door. On the floor? Well, there's a table down on the lift. You sure I look good in this top and jeans? Knock out! Oh, really? Really? I'll take it down to the table for the lift. Good afternoon, Mrs. Fellows. Good afternoon. I'm looking for a small box of chocolates. Thank you. Who's the lucky person? Uh, my sister. That'll be one pound sixty-eight, please. Did you enjoy yourself last night? Oh, yes, thank you. I was very sorry to burst in upon you in Mr. Fellow's study. I did not. I'm sure you did. Did Tim enjoy himself? I'm sure he did. Good. Thank you, Mrs. Fellows. Goodbye. Richard, you give me the creeps. Yes? Where are you? Is Tim all right? Now listen to me. You bring my son back, do you hear me?
Sorry. Where have you been? Phoning your mother, I promised. What did she say? Nothing much. I told her you're safe and with me. I'm tired. Didn't you sleep last night? They're singing Harrison A. Minor this evening. Yeah. If you want a paper, go down and get a paper. It's all right. Is it all right if I switch on the television? Huh? Sure, why not? It's not unusual to find resentment among tenant farmers about the way rents have shot up at a time of falling farming prosperity. But few would consider the drastic step of emigration. Any news? It's all right. He's with Eric. Oh, thank God. Who phoned? The man himself. When? I just got in from the shop. Did he say where they were? I tried ringing him again this afternoon. He's with Eric. Not at his house and safe. That's all I know. Then he put the phone down on me. Well, it's good news. <sighs> He's safe. He's with somebody we know, somebody who's capable of taking care of him. I'm very pleased. You should be pleased. Yes, I know. How did he get to Eric's? Oh, I don't know. How does anyone get anywhere? Walk, ride, hey, hitch. Hey, 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 take it easy. Did he give any indication of when he would be coming back? No. Well, it says a lot for us, doesn't it? Tim finds himself in trouble for the first time in his life. He runs straight to Eric. He's safe. Can't we just be happy about that? If he wanted money. He only had to ask. I doubt that it's as simple as that. Tim's not the first boy to have stolen over a long period, and it always turns out the money isn't very important. We are talking about Tim, our son, my boy. If it's any consolation, they often steal from somebody they think a great deal oh. of. Yes. All right, there's no point in both of us. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have. No, I do understand it. I just feel rejected, that's all. I get us something to eat. Escargo. Escargo? Pusa. Do you think Pusa? It is very good, sir. All right, Pusa. And. Why don't you wait until you've sunk all that lot? We can have another look at the menu then. Classe Verrier. Which one? Orange, strawberry, passion fruit. Passion fruit. Thank you, sir. And a selection of vegetables. I'll leave you the wine list. What am I eating? <laughs> uh, snails, chicken, passion fruit ice cream. Snails? <laughs> Bet they're disgusting. Are they chewy? Uh, the fun part's getting them out of the shell. It's all right. Why? We can drink water at home or out of the tap. You look really young tonight. I want to have a good time. I want you to have a good time. Decor? Um, small vodka tonic, uh, small sherry, medium, and uh, ask the wine waiter to come over. This is brilliant. I mean it. This is the best time in my life. You don't believe me. I'm going to be Italian. Papa, she said be Monteverdi, the lento man on trapper, Papa. <laughs>
Yes? Mrs. Davison? Yes? Could I speak to Richard, please? Neil Caroline gave me this address. You are Richard Davison's mother. Won't you come in, please? No, thank you. Uh, anything I can do to help? No, thank you. Richie? Richie? Autumn's on his way. Yes. It'll soon be winter. Yes. Are you sure you won't come in? No, thank you. Do you want to talk in the car? What's this? Richard Davison, boy wonder, lost for words. I don't like you, you don't like me, so we don't have to pretend. You know Tim's not at home. And he's in no danger, he's... He's with someone in the family. Last night, did he say anything to you about going away today? Did he mention anything to you about it at all? No. Did he say or do anything that might have given you the feeling that... Oh, I don't know, that he was... he was... worried or anxious? He didn't say anything. When did you see him last? Did you see him this morning at all? No. Did he mention any place that he wanted to see or wanted to go to? You better not be lying to me. You don't know where he is or when he's coming back. Thank you, Richard. Nothing to say? Cat got your tongue. Phone? No. Any luck with Davison? No. We handled it badly this morning. You shouldn't have frightened him. Anyway. Why is Eric doing this to us? Revenge, spite, you turned him down, I threw him out. He should have phoned the moment Tim got there. He should have brought him straight back. We don't know what Tim's told Eric. Why, why all this now? He wants a son. Well, you say his work's not so wonderful, so the future's not so golden and the years pass by. Maybe he wants to put down a marker for immortality in the time on his way. He's had a son for 13 years. I've had his son for the last five. You say you feel rejected. Yes. Because Tim's chosen someone else for one day. Maybe Eric feels rejected by a wife as well as a son. Maybe he's felt that way for five years and is doing something about it. Are you defending what he's done? Elizabeth, Eric's facing the rest of his life alone. That may not mean so much when you're young, but when you're middle-aged, it can be very frightening. I know. No, I'm not condoning what he's done. But I think I can understand something of why he's done it. I'm lucky. I have you and Tim. He should have phoned. You must know how. Do we scare him that much? No. I'm not having another day like this, Mark. That's not in our hands. Oh. <gasps> Why don't we call the police? The boy's in no danger. He's with his father, who's been in contact. It's a domestic incident. The police can't scour the whole countryside. Well, then all right. It's up to us to do something. <sighs> all right, but what? Oh, well, I don't know. You're the reasonable one who knows what boys do, how men feel. You think of something. Elizabeth, we're both very tired. 
If Eric wants to break us apart, don't let's give him any help. Let's go up. Why not? any of this. Have I been here before? When I was little? No. Did your mum come here? Sorry, no. Oh. I was lucky to find anywhere available at 12 hours notice. You can do anything. It's warm and dry enough because she didn't get much notice. It smells a bit damp, actually. It'll lay through. Where's the phone? Where's the telly? Where's the McDonald's? Don't panic. We'll survive. God, I bet it's creepy in here when the wind gets going. There's a lot to unload. Love the fire. Can I light it? Get the stuff in from the car. I want to light the fire. Go on. If I light the fire, it'll get rid of the damp. Anything you say. Oh, no, it's all right. I'll get the stuff in the car. You make a terrible father. Here we go again. What's your problem? Scared you're a vampire with no reflection? Oh, God, I haven't cleaned my teeth today. Don't go biting anyone. Funny, funny. What shall I get in first? It's all right. Really, it is. You've done really well not drinking. Don't go righteous on me. I'll get the case. Good morning, Richard. Are you looking for me? Yes. Come on, then. What is it? The list of next week's service. I usually get that tomorrow. By the way, did Timothy Palmer's mother find you? She rang asking for your address, and I didn't think you'd object. I imagine your benign influence on young Timothy had worked extremely well, as he wasn't at Edensong last night. And Mrs. Fellow says he isn't at home either, so I have to reserve judgment. I was wrong, Cara, uh, about him making a good server. Really? I thought we were agreed he'd be extremely useful. I know Mark Fellows is keen on Timothy. showed every appearance of being equally eager. It's his reliability. But it hasn't yet been asked to do anything for us. I'd have thought judging his reliability to be somewhat premature. Would you be trying to tell me something, Richard? You're not in any sort of trouble, are you? No. How could I be? Good. Good. Well, let's think again as far as Timothy Palmer's concerned, shall we? 
I'm busy now. Shall I leave you to look them over? It means a lot to my mother and father that I'm in charge of the cathedral service. And I'm an Oxbridge candidate next year. It means a lot to them. And to you too. Well, only if, if they knew or you said anything to the headmaster. That one? Thank you. That'll be £4.35, please. broke in here. I did. What? I did. What about my son? He didn't come. I mean, he, he... He didn't come in. He was supposed to. He couldn't get up to the window. And, uh... He got frightened and... And? I don't know. Went home. Where did the money come from? Palmer gave it me. Where did he get it? Here, he said. How did you get in on the act? Palmer. Timothy told me about it. He was upset. He wanted somebody to know. And you were busy impressing him. Whose idea was it, returning the money? Mine. What was all that nonsense about beware of the cat? I should think so. You were thinking of reporting this to the police. How do you know that? He came and told me yesterday morning in the cathedral. I lied to you last night. He came and saw me while I was preparing early service. How can I be sure you're telling me the truth now? I am. I, I promise you I am. Do the police know? They might have to. I haven't made my mind up yet. Well, only it's a case of really great... Don't bleat. You know nothing about Tim going away. No. Well, I shall have to tell my husband about it. But he'll spare you. We'll talk again when Tim's back. Thank you, Mrs. Fellows. I had a mother who thought the world of me, too. How's it going? We're calling the Bowsworth too in the brook, or something. Only a few minutes. There's this anthem by a man called John Blow, right? He lived about 17-something. Anyway, this anthem starts, My God, my God, look upon me. Why hast thou forsaken me? Actually, it's quite good. And on the server sheet, it always goes down as, My God, my God, blow. And Tony Mills, he's a friend in the choir, whispered during a practice once. It sounds like somebody trying to light a fire. And we cracked up and Mr. Barton gave us 50 lines for silliness. Your grandmother was religious. That's my mother. Pentecostal. Maybe that's where you get it from. You're trying not to drink much, aren't you? That's my business. Say your prayers, dear. That's mine. Fair enough. No, sorry. Duck all. Yes, I do. Every day. You ever mention me? What do you say? Ask him to look after you. Keep you well and all that. Even after your big service? Valediction? Yes. Ask him to make you friends with Mark again. To forgive me. Why, you didn't need your forgiving. It's OK. None of my business. No, it's all right. Only trouble was, I've been praying for my voice not to break, so I could be head chorister when Moles left. And you shouldn't pray for selfish things like that. And I'd done bad things to Mum and Mark as well. Worst was when I went with you to Gloucester, and made you buy me rich things 
to make them jealous. God gave me a warning about that. Remember we were late getting back? Well, Mr Barton gave my solo to a boy called Fielding. It was a good solo. Stanford and G. Instead of being penitent, I hit Fielding and lied about it. So when you came to the service and everything went wrong, that was God using you to punish me like I'd used you against Mum and Mark. The boy I hit, Fielding, he said chorus to know. Hey, you got it the wrong way round. It was me. I got you to go to Gloucester, made sure you took expensive presents back home. I wanted to make Mark look small. It's me doing bad things, using you. But why would it hurt Mark? Why well, hit Fielding? He took something that was mine. What about yesterday morning? Outside the cathedral? Oh, that. I've stolen 85 pounds from Mum's shop. Not in one go. Over about a year. Somebody find out, then? Yes. But there's more to it. It's sort of mixed up and I don't know how to say it all yet. I sort of panicked because Mark was talking about getting the police. It looked to me like you were coming out of the cathedral. Mixed up? The money's not important. It's not for the money. I never spent any. Do you understand that? Oh, yeah. What are we going to do about it then? I don't even know why I'm here. Your mother was a Christian, you said. What about your father? I used to drive her crazy. Told us a lot of old rubbish for middle class people with second class minds. <laughs> oh dear. What about you? Don't ask me. Not a great one for the supernatural. What do you mean? Where does supernatural come into any of it? Religion is just love. God is just love, really. Love may make the world go round, my son, but it's good old fear and greed get things done. That's stupid. This is going to be the best born in the bad cod you've ever tasted. Mr. Barton goes mad if our watches go off during the service. Nothing. I just thought I'd come round and collect you. Oh. Any news? No. Have you checked the window upstairs? About 50 times. <laughs> it's no good, is it? Without Tim not knowing where he is. What sort of day have you had? Not good. Probably better than yours. Could be right. <sighs> Something's got to happen. I know. I'll give Eric until supper to get in touch. Then what? Then I phone Inspector Thomas. Twenty odd years ago, I taught R. W. Thomas a passable leg spinner. Yes. Time he was paid the debt. What time is it? Quarter to six. Let's go into the cathedral. Well, even songs on. I know. Not a comfort. 
Not to me. I wouldn't want my pain reduced to pretty music. You think I'm about to march up there and protest? I wouldn't like people to think it was a family tradition. The Richard Davis. He came to see me today. Listening, the men and boys performing. Tim would say it was for the glory of God. Well, let's hope he's listening. It's a very expensive pastime if he isn't. I don't like card games. I'm just having fun. Right, I'll turn the top card over. Nearly as exciting as cricket. Come on. Right, good. A jack means you get to ask me one question and I have to tell the truth. And then you get another go. And so you've had your go. Carry on. <clears throat> right, an ace means you have to do exactly what I say and I have to if you get one. See? I get the drift. Where did you get this game from? It's really a strip game. You play it in the choir, not stripping. Truth, like this. Joker? If you got a joker, you had to swallow somebody else's spit. But I've taken the jokers out. I'm glad about that. Are you going to play? Properly, I mean. Jack one question, queen two, king three. If you don't like it, we'll do something else. You start. Mm. What's your favourite colour? Blue. Why do you hate cricket? Too slow. Ah, this is a fix. No, honestly. What card do you like? My white charger, Jack. What football team do you support? I don't. Why did you and Mum split up? We wanted things we couldn't give to each other. What things? How do you mean? You've had your three. You've rigged this. I haven't. I promise I haven't. What was it you couldn't give to Mum? Are you wanting? Simple answers to questions that aren't simple. I had a business, right? I was responsible to all the people there. You, you remember the factory? I couldn't give your mum the time she deserved. Or the consideration. About time. What do you think of me? I think good of you. So you're glad that all this is happened? Yes. Nah. What were you doing in King Street? I don't know. To be with... I don't know. You? Truth. Oh, your mother? I don't know. You didn't come to rescue me. Is that well done? Yeah, you've had a free goal. Why did you? Because you were crying. Sorry, do you want to start oh. again? Did you love my mother? What about now? Do you love her now? Tim, it's just... Truth! Yeah. Tim, go gently. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, 
There's no enjoyment. All of it. Why, son? Not your question, right? I want to see. I want to see what happens. Just, just do it, right? You did it on my valediction day. Do it now. I'll leave. Dana, what colour are your underpants? Real questions, Eric. No. <laughs> Who's your father? Who do you think of as your father? Mark. So you're going to play, play. Are you upset? Not your question. Why do you get drunk? It stops the hurting. People don't expect miracles for a while. Will you give me the ace? As long as it's not... No, 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 look. I, I'm not drinking like that again. No, 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 no. No. What the hell do you think you're doing, boy? It's not water, that stuff. You can get sick. <laughs> Do you love me? Yes. Like a son, of course I do. Then if you love me and you love Mum... Okay. The cards tell you when you're going to drink! Oh, get me okay. You shouldn't have drunk like that. Like father, like son. Don't get clever with me! I can be clever with anyone! When I was your age... Boring! Listen. Boring! I just want you to understand. <laughs> you just want me to agree, like all adults. You know the factory? I know the factory. Boring. I got the sack. I'm not the boss anymore. Does Eric believe in God? I don't know. You lie. I don't know. Oh, in the Lord Jesus Christ who died for our sins? Calm down, eh? Calm down. It's a joke to you! Big black joke! Oh, I've had enough of this. Oh, Eric, don't go. What? You, you are my father. And, and you were happy until the baby came. Why? Eric. You used to hit her, because I heard her say to Mark, Eric, you never grow up so you never learn. And she tells Mark that... Oh, oh, oh I'm drunk. I, I'm sorry, son. You and me, we, we can start again in new school, new friends, somewhere else. You and me, I, I need you. Need me. Hey. Good luck. Good health. Yeah. No. <laughs> Get thee behind me, temptation. Good. Hey, if it's tempting, that's good. I know good. you. You're the devil. I know you now. Good. Yeah. Go 
Get some fresh air. Go. Circle, Langy Cross. Yes, great, superb. He's asleep. There's this fantastic hotel, right? No, listen, this, what? I'm great, really. Mom, I want to come home. 